Rob, welcome. Thank you. Fair to say it came out of the blue? Yeah, a little bit. Um, so I got the call um, last weekend, um, getting things teed up and then come in to meet the lads straight away, which was good, and then got things finalised. But it was nice to get a few days training, get to know everyone before I signed. So it feels like I've been here a while now, so it's great. So you come from outside to in. What's, been, what's the feeling about Watford from, from the outside as a club? No, it's obviously a big club and what, I, what I've seen really well and obviously is how well, we're, how well it's run. You know, it's well run like a, um, with a club that obviously has massive ambitions and wants to push on and improve and I think that's, that's huge. You want to come in and you want to build something and I think that's really important. So for me, whether it's, hopefully it'll be a longer part than just this season, but you just want to be a part of that and hopefully help the club build up to being back in the Premier League and being a big Premier League club, which I think obviously with the fan base and everything, that's what, that's what we all want to be. Um, been training with uh, former Hornet Mike Williamson at, at Gateshead. Is he still in good form? He is, yeah. He's top man. Obviously, good friends now from years at Newcastle, and uh, he's, he's turned into a really good manager. And sort of went down to help out with the goalies, and uh, was actually on the bench for one of the games, like coaching, which is a nice experience. But um, still want to be back on the pitch. So um, when this come up, obviously, I had to sort of say goodbye to the Gateshead lads. But um, now, big Mike said I spoke to him, and he obviously said um, said really good things about the place. Thrown in straight at the deep end with initiation in front of the group. How did that go? It was all right. I, to be fair, I wasn't too fussed, but I just couldn't think of a song. So I had about 30 seconds walk into the group. Um, but no, you know what? It breaks all the ice straight away. And I just give it all, give it all, chucked a few dance moves in there and then got out as quick as I could. What did you go for? I went for the, uh, the Kooks Naive. It's like my go-to because it's the only song I can remember. And I still think I messed it up, but I managed just to chuck a few moves in so the lads didn't really hear. Good reception from the lads, they go for it? Yeah, they were good, didn't they? They, they get the circle and the clapping going, so um, it's a bit different to what I'm used to, So, but you know what, it's nice to get it out of the way and it helps you break the ice, then you get in with the boys and no, it's good and uh, we played the uh, the in-house game the other day as well, which is perfect for me, get some, to get some match minutes in, so it's been a really good start so far. How well do you know Ben? Come across him on, on the circuit? Yeah, just you know, goalies, we all know each other and obviously played against him a few times and that, so obviously he's a, he's a top lad, just welcome me straight away and, and uh, same with Dan, so it's nice just to get in and, and then when you know people a little bit, it, it helps break the ice, but all goalies are the same really, we're all of the same mould, so it's um, be good. Obviously it'll be good to get Ben on the pitch and, and be training with him every day as well, because obviously I think like, the competition and everything's brilliant, you know, it just makes you improve and keeps everyone on top of their toes and, and like you say, it's only going to benefit the, the, the team in the long run. Also a member of the goalkeepers union is Graham Stack, he's the academy goalkeeping coach here. Bit of a character? Yeah, yeah. I say again, I just know, know Stacky from the circuit and I spoke to him a few times, met him again yesterday. Like top guy, like absolute legend, isn't he here and, and everywhere really. So um, no, it's good and, and Anton's been brilliant at welcoming me and, and getting me fit and training. So like, I couldn't really ask for a better setup. Been playing a little bit of a tutorial role during your spell at Charlton with two younger keepers there. Looking to play a similar role here with the likes of Dante and, and Adam Parks? Yeah, listen, as you get older, you realise, um, I look back, I was very lucky when I was a kid, you know, I had like Dean Kiley and people like that who, who really helped me and, and, and I just sort of think, actually, if I can do anything to help them, you know, then that's all I'm here for. And I think that's, that's your responsibility as an older pro. Uh, they've got some, like the two boys are really talented and like you say, any advice I can give to help them, then, then brilliant, obviously. I know for them, games will be massively important, so hopefully they'll go and get experience and, and if not, they'll just keep themselves ticking over, um, just train with the first team, gain that experience of playing with top players. One bit of advice and experience you can pass on is that promotion with Newcastle in 2016-17. They obviously came straight down and went straight back up. We'd, we'd love a piece of that here. What's the key to doing that? Do you know what it is? It's staying calm. You know, you, you, unfortunately in the championship you're going to lose games. And that, that's, that's just that you have to accept that. You don't want to, but you will. But it's not losing your head. It's staying calm, all staying together and just looking at the bigger picture and keep working on things and, and making sure that you stay level-headed. I know it's, it's, emotions run high in football quickly and you have to try and keep control of them and make sure you're channeling it in the right way. And I spoke about it the other day. You, um, we only won the league in April, May. Um, or got promoted in April, May, and that's what it is in the championship. You don't win it in February, March, which you'd love to, don't get it wrong, we'd love to, but you just have to stick at it. And I think what we've got here is we've got enough quality so that when the uh, when it gets tough and the, the other teams get tired, I think we've got the extra quality to try and push through and get us through to the end. I was going to say, how do you assess the quality of the squad here? It's unbelievable, really, like, the amount of players. Like um, When I was training, obviously, um, when the lads had the game and the players that aren't even in the squad and honestly like you couldn't ask for a better pool of players to choose from and that's what you need at this level you know the games come thick and fast you need whether it's an injury or whatever or to freshen the legs you need players to come in and there's so much quality here so just need to make sure we're all pulling that line and going in the right direction to make sure that whenever we're called upon we're ready to go. 
We've had a new head coach come in, Cisco Munez has hit the ground running, great start, he's won plenty of hearts and minds. Um, what sort of feeling on the training ground? Are the boys in, in good spirits, feed that back to the fans? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I mean, that's the first thing they said, they all seem to really like the manager and obviously he's fantastic around the place, got a big personality and character and he seems like a really good guy, which is the most important thing as well. Um, and the lads have really responded to him and obviously the results have replicated, uh, sort of shown that, reflected that. So. Um, no, obviously we hope that continues and um, big game on Monday night and it's, it's just taking it one game at a time, making sure we get the results and then pushing on from there. Played against us a few times in your career, but it looks like it's played five, lost five. <laughs> I didn't even know that, but cheers. Yeah. <laughs> so not the fondest memories playing against us, there was a game against Accrington in, in 2006. Ah, yeah, yeah. Six five on penalties at Vicarage Road. Yeah, I got subbed on for the penalties. Yeah, I remember John Coleman, he's like he's top, top man John Coleman, but he likes doing mad things. and took me on for the penalties and obviously didn't save one, which is uh, great, but no, he had a couple of games in Newcastle, good games in the FA Cup and in the league and that, and um, I think we was down the bottom, I was talking to Richard Lee uh, when I played against him as well when he was here, like back, I think about 2008, 2009, so no, uh, I always like going to Vicarage Road, it's a good stadium, uh, good club and yeah, obviously I've not had too many good memories there, but hopefully I can start making some for Watford. <laughs> well, we wish you the very best of luck, Rob, welcome. Thank you very much, cheers. Hey guys, click here for more video. Come on, click here.